Hi, I'm Darren Cordopassi. Today I'm reviewing an HS scale 3600 cubic foot quad hopper from Tangent Scale Models. My example is decorated for Union Pacific and represents an H100 19 class car. The MSRP for this car is $38.95. I paid $36.99 for my model at modeltrainstuff.com. We'll start the model at 100 possible points. The car comes in a cardboard box with a clear plastic window on top. Inside, a two-piece plastic cradle protects the model. The car is wrapped in some thin, flexible plastic to guard against scratches. This is a good box that should protect the model for storage and transport. I was unable to find a photo of this exact car, but I did find several photos online of UP hoppers in the same number series, and the model looks to be a very close match. The paint on the car is opaque and thin enough not to obscure detail. The lettering is very crisp and all of the small writing is legible with magnification. The end grabs are separately applied and look to be made of wire. The stirrups are plastic, though they look sturdy enough to stand up to modest handling. I really like the rib and rivet detail on the sides. On the ends, the car has uncoupling levers and air hoses. The end grabs are also made of wire and look very delicate. A couple of them on my car are slightly misaligned, though this isn't too noticeable except under very close scrutiny. The B end has a photo etched brake platform, nicely done brake wheel, and brake system components with plumbing. On top, the coal load is removable, though I had to use a tool to pry mine out. With the load removed, the separately applied interior bracing becomes visible. There are some ovals on the slope sheets. I don't know if the prototype cars had these or if it's an artifact of the molding process, so I'm giving the car the benefit of the doubt here. Removing them would be quite a chore. There are some fairly deep scratches in the center of the load area on my car that would also be difficult to correct, so I'm taking five points. Underneath the car has good discharge gate detail. There's a very delicate airline running down the center of the sill. The car is equipped with KD scale couplers. The coupler on the A end is low, so I'm taking five points. The coupler on the B end is also low. All of the wheels are in gauge according to the NMRA standards gauge. The model wobbles slightly, meaning that the body continues to vibrate after the wheels stop moving. This can usually be fixed by tightening one of the bolster screws. The car weighs 3.7 ounces without the load. It weighs 4.2 ounces with it. The NMRA recommended weight for a car of this length is 3.5 ounces, so even without the load, this car has a good weight and should track well. The car is free rolling. Let's see what we've got. The model had scratches inside the load area, so I took five points in the paint and detail category. The car had two low couplers and it wobbled, so I took a total of 15 points in the standards and operation category. That leaves us with a total of 80 out of 100 points, which would be a B- on a report card. This is a nice model and it deserves a green signal. I think Tangent did a really nice job on this car. If you're looking for some modern UP hoppers for your layout, I think you'll like it.